Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a birthstone collab and I'm doing this with my girls Siobhan and Sarah. This birthstone collaboration is up today for Siobhan's birthday. I just want to say a huge happy birthday to my friend Siobhan. She always has our back and she's always there to lift our spirits and our mood and she's just such an inspirational person. So today we have dedicated this collaboration in time for her birthday. So a huge happy birthday Siobhan, I really hope you enjoy this video. So because her birthstone is in May, she has the emerald birthstone. So she's inspired her look around the green emerald. Sarah's birthday is in April and her birthstone is a diamond so she's gone for this beautiful glittery sparkly diamond look. I absolutely love the way she's done her eyes, it's just so beautiful. My birthday is in June so my birthstone is pearl, moonstone and an alexandrite. So I've opted for a pearly look with some purple accent. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, let's get into the birthstone collab. Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a birthstone inspired collaboration today. I really wanted to do this collaboration with my girls, Siobhan and Sarah. I love these girls so much, they are my bestest friends here on YouTube and I highly recommend you go check out their channels, I will link them down below. I will link the girls' videos down below, don't forget to check them out, they have done such an amazing job, I really do love their videos. And let's get into the video. So the first thing I want to do is apply a primer to my skin, so I'm using the MAX Prep and Prime Fix Plus. The next I'm going to do my soap brow method, so I'm using the Pears soap with my MAC Fix Plus. And then with this soap I'm going to just brush my hairs up into place. So next I'm moving on to my foundation and I'm going to use my favourite one which is the PS My Perfect Colour Double Coverage Matte Foundation. And then using a sponge, I'm going to blend this into the skin. And then next I'm going to step the face, so I'm using the collection Sheer Loose Powder. This one is in the shade Translucent 2, which has a slight bit of colouring, but not too much. So I'm going to use this one to set the foundation. So for our collab we're all doing our own birthstones. My birthstones are Alexandrite, which is a beautiful purple shade, Moonstone, which is like an iridescent shade, and then a pearl. So I love pearls as well, they're my favourite as you can't tell. So I'm doing a pearl and purple inspired look from my birthstones. So I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing creative wise. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes now so that I can move on to the eyeshadow. So I'm going to use my P. Louise base. This is the first time using a P. Louise base and I'm really really excited. He actually got me this early for my birthday because I really wanted to try with P. Louise. So he got me this and he actually got me the brush set as well, the acid rain brushes. So I'm going to be using them today. I'm really excited. I know it's naughty to have it early but I couldn't wait so he's let me have them early so bless him. P. Louise and Mitchell acid rain collection and I'm going to be using the shade Ibiza. And these are the acid rain brushes so you get like a really cool flat shape of brush for cut creases, an angled one, a slightly angled, very thin pencil brush for really fine detail work. So it comes like this, so it's like a purple paint that you can use for your eye. It's a really cool base. And pick up the paint from the back of my hand, that beautiful purple, and we're going to pop this onto the lid. And I'm going to angle this up for a wing. Then just blend and pull the edges. Clean brush, blending brush, just blend away the edges. Next I'm moving on to this, this is the Fine Glitter Dust from Barry M and this one is in the shade Violet Star and with the glitter dust I pick it up with a fluffy brush and I'm going to pack this all over the base. It does have that little glitter shimmers in it which is really really pretty. Now 
Next, I'm moving on to the Essence Crystal Liner in Rosy Rush. This one is a really beautiful lavendery purpley pink shade, and I'm going to put this on the inner corner of my eye. Also, going to create a wing with this on the outer corner, so underneath. Just wing it out a little bit so it has that shimmer when you turn your head. I'm also going to pop this underneath the lash line. Then I'm going to move on to my highlighter today which is the Balm's Mary Luminizer. This is going to go on the brow bone. Next I'm moving on to my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, this one is in the shade Dark Brown. And then with this I'm just going to fill in the eyebrows. Next I'm moving back to the P. Louise base and I'm going to use this for my waterline. Next I'm going to move on to my contour, so I'm using my NARS Laguna Bronzer. And with this I'm just going to contour my face as normal. For today's blush, I'm taking Benefit's Bella Bamba blush. And then whatever's left on the brush, just go over the tip of the nose. And then for today's highlighter, I'm taking the Balm's Mary Luminizer. this down the centre of the nose and the cupid's bow and then moving back to the eyes I'm going to take some tiny little pearls and then do some little details around the eyes so I'm going to do this on the inner corner of the eye so to do this I'm going to be taking some eyelash glue and starting with the smallest ones and then kind of fan them out and then they get bigger and bigger and yeah just play around with some pearls kind of do like a cut crease with the pearls almost like a half cut crease so i've got one pearl on for now you just want to keep playing around with them until you're happy with the layout So now I'm going to move on to the lips and I'm going to outline them with a nude pencil. So I'm using the MAC Lip Liner in Strip Down. And then for the lips I also want to go in with a nude glittery lip I think today. So it ties with the whole theme like pearlescent. So I'm going to go in with the Revolution Liquid Lipstick. This one doesn't have a shade but it does actually on I think that's the name so I'm applying the revolution liquid lipstick all over the lips and then last but not least I'm taking the MAC Mariah Carey lipstick in all I want which is a frost lipstick And then last but not least, I'm going to apply some dramatic lashes, so I'm taking the Just Right Beauty Lashes in Unforgettable. So I've applied the lashes and I'm just going to put some mascara to the underneath lashes, my real ones, just to fuse them to the lashes on top. So I'm taking the Ico Lash Alert Mascara. Pinch them together. Okay, so then for the hair, I'm taking the headband out. I'm going to section the hair on my left side. Pull it over. And 
and then I'm also going to section a tiny piece of hair So I've got these two little strands left down. And taking this piece of fringe, I'm going to pull it down and twist it a little bit. And then I'm going to take one of these little pearl berets and just slide it into the fringe here. And then I'm going to take another pearl clip. and clip it right next to it and then I've got this little piece down and this little piece that I'm going to wax and then bend the hair and kind of stick it down to the side of the face and then add pearls so I'm going to take the bottom piece first and take some wax and just coat this in wax and kind of flatten it down to the skin. So I'm adding some more clips on this side. And then add in another one, lots of chunky pearls. And then I've sectioned two more little pieces out like this, so it should look something like this. And bend it and hold it down for a few seconds while it's wet and tacky. And then last but not least I'm going back to the pearls and I'm going to put random pearls in between the little curls in the hair just to add the finishing touch. And this is the finished look for my birthstone inspired makeup. I had so much fun creating this look. It's such a creative one and I love pearls. They're my favourite stone ever. I love them. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to be notified of all my future videos just like this one. Again, don't forget to check out Sarah and Siobhan's makeup looks down below. They will be linked in the description box. Don't forget, stay inside, stay safe and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. Yeah.